So welcome to Coastal Crafts and welcome to another episode of our Halloween collab. So hosted by Michelle, Crafty Michelle, and a load of other amazing crafters are taking part. So all their links are in the description box below. So do go and check out everybody's channel. But today I'm working on a coffin. A coffin with shelves. So we're going to put things on the shelves. Um, and I'm going to show you through most of the process. Um, but first of all, I cut out all the pieces just from this bit of card. So this is just your, it's not chipboard, just to make my, my life easier for cutting. It's more like cereal box card or back of um, 12 by 12 paper pad, I think is what more likely was. Um, so I cut out the pieces and taped it together using this great black, I don't know if it's masking tape, it's quite sticky masking tape, but you can pull it off. And I love this. I picked it up at a craft fair once and I've just used it loads for whenever I'm putting sort of chipboard and things like that together. So it is sturdy enough with that, but um, if I'm going to want to paint it, I've decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually decoupage over it in just sort of white tissue paper, or just a plain colour, and then paint it just so, just to give it a bit more strength and make the base a bit smoother where it's all been taped. Well, it probably won't be smooth, it'll probably give it more texture really, knowing the way that I put on decoupage paper. But yeah, that's my next step, so I will come back once that's all sorted. So I've just covered it in a layer of tissue paper, which um, will give it a bit more stability and um, also an interesting bit of texture, just where I've not done it in a perfect way. And I was thinking about what color to paint it. And I think I'm gonna go for black as it is a Halloween one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get going, just covering the whole thing in black. And then I'll come back and we'll give it some highlights in maybe gray, doesn't sound very highlighty-ish, but uh, I would agree, maybe silver or gold, see how I'm feeling. I just want to pop on part way and show you that is a footprint from Mango. We've already had one um, black paint fatality. Mango now has a black paw and I've just had to rush in and um, de-paint her paw, which she wasn't very keen on, but um, it's quite a thick black paint, this one. I'll show you what I'm using. Um, acrylic artist paint, yeah. And... What a silly kitty. <laughs> she didn't like having her first sort of leg bath. So I'll be back once this is finished. Right, so we have a black coffin, which has really taken shape. Um, I do feel like all my um, Halloween collab videos, everything is so messy, isn't it? It's when I get the paint out. I really like this texture. I think it sort of gives it that old effect, but um, I guess each to their own really on that one as to whether you like it or not. So I'm going to get out some inks, I think. What should we go for? Maybe some of that, maybe silver or gold. Let's try some silver and yeah, give it a bit, a bit more colour. So I love these um, Midas Spectrum Noir inks. I wasn't sure if I would be able to find a silver or gold, like a metallic ink that really shows up, but it, you know, it really does. I'm just going to add a little bit over the top. And that's why the whole thing of having the creases just makes the, uh, it really stands out when you add the inks to it. Almost if it's all flat have such an impact obviously this brush is not going to get in there very well is it let's try something different to try one of these so we're getting a bit I've got the window open now because it's actually quite warm and it's always kind of warm in our house but when this house is it's quite a new house. It's permanently hot. But then I used to live in an, an old house that was permanently cold, so this is definitely the better option. Oh, that one's got stuck on there. So there we go, with a bit of silver. I'm going to add a bit of grey as well, I wonder. Well, let's just try a little bit and see how that looks. 
do it with this. That's not going to show up too much. I think we will leave it with the silver. So there we go. We've got the outline of the um, coffin. That's all ready. It's all shiny and it's all silvery. So now I need to get some bits and pieces to go inside. So I'll be back once I've collected my bits and pieces. So I'm starting to gather some bits and pieces. So I've got this little bottle and I've just added um, a bit on to make it look more like a Halloween bottle. I've got some flowers, I think, in various sort of different colours. It will be interesting for that. Some lace. Um, inside, I've actually decoupaged a few um, spider webs because I couldn't resist. So I got gifted this napkin from Danielle Rose when we did our binder swap. So thought that's got to be used. I've also got some leaves that I've just been adding a bit of silver to as I think that might work a bit better with the colour scheme. So it's sort of going for kind of black, orange, purple, maybe some green in there as well. So we will see. I'm going to start putting this together and um, yeah, come back and sort of show you as I as I go. So there we go. My spooky coffin has reached its creation, its finale. Um, it's got some little bottles in there, probably of poison. It's got cobwebs that have been cut out using my cobweb die. Let me show you. Was that one? Um, it's got little glass bottles, some of which I painted. Um, and various flowers. So I'll give you a bit of a closer look inside. So obviously I'm sure you're looking at this thinking, wow, I could do a much better job. I could do all sorts of things differently. So I'd love it if you had a go and created your own coffin with your own ideas. Because I always think once you see somebody's, it really inspires you to create one of your own. So it's kind of spooky, but not too scary. So it's okay for my um, taste of Halloween. We know I don't like anything too scary. Um, and yes, yeah, so tune in next week to see what I come up with for the Halloween collab. I think we'll be on week five next week. So yeah, really jobbling, jobbling, jostling. It's really moving along anyway. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Bye.